Welcome to Brandon Marshall's Career Draft episode 12. And now before we get into anything else, last week I rolled the dice, got a quarterback, and I said I had the highest available quarterback here with Ryan Fitzpatrick in terms of his upgrade. However, the last time I checked the quarterbacks was before the playoff cards were released and Matt Moore is actually the best possible quarterback, which means we still have to roll in the quarterback category. It doesn't matter if I want to use him or not, if I ever will. So we've already got two quarterbacks on the team, Josh McCown and Ryan Fitzpatrick. That leaves four. Matt Moore, Jimmy Clausen, Geno Smith, and Jay Cutler. We want Matt Moore. Nobody else is relevant to us. Really, Matt Moore's not that relevant to us. We just want him to finish with the quarterbacks. So the four-sided dice, we want number one. It's the only time we really want the worst overall quarterback possible. We're rolling and it's number three. That's Geno Smith. So we, we, I'm not even going to add him to the team. Just know that Geno Smith is available. So no Geno Smith. I didn't have him. There's no point going out to buy him now because he would be the third string guy. I mean, he would be better than McCown, but it's really kind of irrelevant. So we don't have Ricky Williams. I did, however, manage to finally add Matt Prater, who cost me 5,000 coins. 5,000 coins for an 82 rated kicker. Bit of a rip off. And then on the defense, we obviously already added David Bruton Jr. And if you don't know how this series rolls, you'll know now. the puzzle piece Leonard Williams every time we add a elite player I like to do a little bit of an intro for them we obviously got a little bit further in our objectives with Dumerville and Willie Young last episode they had interceptions which obviously count just as much as sacks do I just didn't think it would ever be relevant to have to name them as things they can get but they both have an interception now they're closer Sean Smith got another interception which means we might be able to buy his filthily expensive flashback card which isn't going to be that much fun but obviously it's going to be a very good player and on offense it's going to be business as usual we're still hoping to get a right tackle soon. Right tackle is actually going to be the worst position even when everything's fully upgraded. Either we can put a left tackle there at a drop of overall or we have one of the right tackles that we can have which are really quite terrible. But I think that's enough said. I think I'm going to go and try and play a game and let's see how that works out. All right, here we go. Time to do some stuff here. That's how, we, that's, that's how I always talk. What do you want about? Yes, Davis. Delayed blitz. That'll trick him. Yes, Bailey. Interception. That'll trick him. Champ Bailey has an upgrade. We're going to have to pay for it. Not yet, but... So, you know what we like to do here? We like to aim for Brandon Marshall. And again, at the back of the end zone. I'm going to say that has such a high success rate against Richard Sherman. I don't know which version of Richard Sherman that is. But Brandon Marshall, at the back of the end zone, he's got the toes, tips him in, gets the touchdown. Watch this. No. Yeah, maybe. Willie Young has two interceptions. Why do people keep throwing it there? I don't get that. I mean, he's now one away from being upgraded, which I'm really happy about. Close. Where did that ball go? <laughs> it's already just come down. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Marshall dropped it at the end. I'm pretty sure he got his feet down, but... Oh, it's fourth and goal. Dagnab it. We have to kick a field goal. Shall we say five Prater field goals to be upgraded? I mean, we might as well, right? A flag? Don't. I'm gonna... You roughed the kicker, dude. I want to decline it, but I'm not an idiot. Does he know I'm going for Marshall? Potentially. I'm still gonna go for Marshall? Potentially. Yeah, definitely. And Marshall's a big boy and he can make those catches. So another touchdown for Marshall. We're picking up a lot of good players potentially here. Marshall almost halfway to getting that flashback card. Now let's look at the price and die a little bit inside. That's why I set the touchdown so high actually. <laughs> 55k, that's not bad at all. We'll pay that. No! 
<laughs> Matt breaks. I forgot about the wind. I just left it straight in the middle and kicked it badly. But. This guy, <laughs> this guy is wild. He will. <laughs> who do I need stuff with? Gilchrist, that's who I need stuff with. Exactly, thank you. We can upgrade Gilchrist now. That's really, really great. I'm not surprised about that. So, that was the game completed and I've completely forgotten what happened in it. Um, we scored two touchdowns. Marcus Gilchrist got that final interception he needed to be upgraded to the Milestones edition of his card. From a 75 to an 87 he will now jump, that's a serious improvement. Willie Young almost going to be an actual right outside linebacker very soon. Who else got one? Champ Bailey got an interception, he's got a filthily expensive upgrade to the Ghost of Madden one but it's probably worth it. I am now taking donations on PayPal. If you would send me Madden coins directly, that'd be great. Offensively, Brandon Marshall scored two touchdowns. Was it just two? Just two touchdowns, I guess. And the quit before half time, which means we get three players and there was a little bit of confusion, not really, but I'll still explain it. So that means we can now potentially unlock three players over 80 overall. We still need to land with the dice on a player over 80 overall. It just means if we don't get it with Marshall, we can't unlock someone with that overall. So. Three players to unlock, and let's just jump straight into it, because why else, why, why would we wait? Rolling the dice for the first time, first position, what is it going to be, what do we want? A lot of positions, still offensive line I'd like to improve. Number four, number four is a wide receiver, now that is exciting, there's still some bad wide receivers we could get, but we have 80 overall unlocked, and there's still some very, very, very good wide receivers. Eric Decker, Alshon Jeffrey, I think both of them have upgrades, Alshon Jeffrey already is an elite card anyway. Let's see what we could get. So here are our wide receivers. Alshon, Jeffrey and Eric Decker are the ones we want. Josh Bellamy, Marquez Wilson, Eric Weems are the ones we could end up with. So five sides on the dice. Eric Weems number one, Josh Bellamy number two, Marquez Wilson number three, Alshon Jeffrey number four, Eric Decker number five. Very easy, easy, easy. Five sides on the dice. Let's roll four or five. Fingers crossed. It's a four. Yes, Eric Decker. I think I said them the wrong way around. Alshon Jeffrey's number five, Eric Decker's number four. Eric Decker, now Eric Decker's just an 80 card, but he has some very nice upgrades. So, a huge win with Eric Decker. What is it gonna be next? Rolling four positions, again, number eight. I have no idea what that is. Number eight is a center. Now, a lot of good centers out there. So, with centers, there's nobody bad we can get anymore. Mike Pouncey is the worst at an 80 overall. Nick Mangold, the same with an 80 overall. Matt Slauson, 81 rating, and Joe Berger, an 81 rating as well. Wouldn't be mad with any of them. We do want Nick Mangold, though. So, four sides on the dice. One for Pouncey, two for Mangold, three for Slauson, and four for Berger. Let's see what we get. It's two, which is Pouncey. Did I say that? I have no idea now which way I said it. I think I said Pouncey won anyway. Pouncey should have been one. Like I said, when I first introduced the centers, I said Pouncey's the worst at one. Nick Mangold with him. So Nick Mangold should be two. One for Pouncey, two for Mangold. So that's a center now gold. It, was, it had to be, it could only be. So it's one more position left. One final player to add. And this time we've had it great. We had three 80 overall players we could unlock. We've already unlocked two 80 overall players. Let's see the final position. 19. 19 is a strong safety, and there's still a bad strong safety we can get. So left in the rotation is Chris Conti and Calvin Pryor. Now the difference between those two players couldn't be bigger really, so we've won two here. Two sides on the dice. Rolling, we want two. Fingers crossed. Both my fingers crossed as I click. Two, it's two, yes! Calvin Pryor unlocked. Another elite strong safety. We have a look here now. We're gonna have Rashad Jones as the first strong safety. Calvin Pryor is gonna be our second one. I'm never coming out of the big dime formation now because there's just no need to. This is gonna be incredible. So happy. This is probably the best group of players we have ever unlocked. And I mean ever out of any group. And remember, we got Champ Bailey at one point, Sean Smith, Leonard Williams, Mohamed Wilkerson. All good players we've unlocked. I don't think we've ever had as good a group 
as this one right here. Okay, so the next clip was corrupted. I can't put it into a video editor without it crashing the program. So what I've had to do is basically record it off of my computer. I can still watch it as a video file, just can't put it into the editor. So this is a super, super highlight version of that game. The quality might not be great because I've had to record it off my computer, but this is the game. So that's everybody added. Eric Decker already improved from the New York Jets chemistry. Nick Mangold set up there, making the line look pretty damn good right now. Obviously, we've got Bushrod, who's really good. Leno, not bad. Now Nick Mangold. That's three good linemen, a right guard playing right tackle. Nick Mangold needs to play five games. That's it. All he has to do is play five games. He gets upgraded to his 89 rated most beard version. On the defense, Calvin Pryor there making the secondary look incredibly nice. Couldn't get Marcus Gilchrist card, not because it wasn't on the market, but because it was on the market for 20, 30,000 coins plus what it's worth. So I'm not going to pay that much extra. If it's a few thousand, I'll gladly pay extra. That much, no. Calvin Pryor, conversely, was like the cheapest elite player I've ever bought. It was a few thousand coins and that's it. But that's it. That's already everybody added here. Oh, come on. You are kidding me. We're never going to force him to pass at this rate. Hey, get out of the way, son. Clay is moving. This could go horribly wrong. And now you may think, hey, if you think this is going to go horribly wrong, why do you even do it? The answer is simple. Because sometimes it goes alright and it looks quite cool. We're going to punch one in here for the lads, even if we lose this game. We're going to lose by scoring points. There we go, Marshall. That's a nice touchdown as well. It's a shame it may be for nothing, but it's a nice touchdown. This is the game here. Oh, and yes! This is the game here, and what a play! Oh, come on, Decker. And he's into the end zone. And we tie it up at 14 apiece. Time left to play. We could still lose. But we tied it up. We're not completely pathetic. Well, all, all we need is a couple of seconds. All we need is one second. And the game ends there. Lose by a field goal, but what an effort to come back from 14 down. It's not good enough. Should have never been 14. Oh, we could have won this very easily. One point to mention here is the fact that Marshall's and Decker's touchdowns count. Now, we don't unlock players if we lose, but stats still count. If I put the video in an episode, the stats count. We don't unlock players, but we get the stats, which means that Marshall is 10 touchdowns away from being upgraded now, and Eric Decker has a touchdown as well. So that's one towards his five. No, to what? that's one towards his six of being upgraded. He has a bunch of upgrades anyway. It was a good game. I mean, he scored when we messed up. We messed up and didn't score. We could have won this game. I'm annoyed at myself.